In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Samsung Q2U to your Windows, to your MacBook. And um, this is my review. And um, also, I'm now recording with Samsung Q2U. You. you can hear the raw audio without any filters. Okay, this is what you will get, the XLR cable. Of course, the mic, the windscreen, the tripod and the USB-C cable. Connect this microphone to a Windows laptop, okay? So um, I'm just gonna look where the USB is located. So it's located the right over here. So I'm just gonna grab, because I'm gonna connect the microphone to a USB. So I'm gonna grab this cable. I'm gonna plug this cable in a, Inside this USB and this one inside the mic. And now you can see also the light here. You're on and off. Here you can see also you have, if you want to real time hear yourself, you can plug some headset. You can also plug here your XLR if you want to, and then plug this in an audio interface, if you have one. And that's basically how you plug this in, um, in a Windows. But what about a MacBook? Now with the MacBook, you're gonna need this hub and uh, just plug this hub inside a USB-C. in your MacBook and then what you're gonna have to do is just to grab this USB USB and plug this in the hub okay it's very simple and now it's just working you just need to of course open your MacBook and in a couple of seconds I'm gonna show you how this mic sounds so now this is how the microphone sounds without any any filters on OBS. So I don't I'm not using any any filters. No gain, no noise suppression. This is the raw audio with the Samsung Q2U. So this is really close now. I'm talking pretty close to the mic and um now if you move a little bit to the side, of course you're gonna have to talk right on this part, right in the front, because it's a you know dynamic microphone. And uh, this is how it sounds now if you're a little bit far away. Also can check here the for for the sound, uh, see if it's uh, it has the right volume. Okay, so uh, yeah, it is. I added it to 100%. I mean, it's to 100% again. Uh, and you can also change the gain from here on your. Okay. But yeah, I hope you found uh, this review helpful. I do really recommend this. I think it's a really great budget microphone. It sounds really good for its price. It's if you have uh, you don't have a treated background um, room, a treating room, then it's just great because it's not going to pick a lot of background noise, and it's a cheap, good price, and uh, for podcasting it's great for YouTube for streaming. I think it's great, so I do really recommend this um, this microphone.